by the time they're two years old, they will be completely out of diapers. Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin Hill and welcome to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button and like and share this video. Okay, so if you've been following us for a while, you will know that we have been doing elimination communication with our twin girls, Rumi and Elio, since they were a week old. So basically what that means is that we started putting them on the potty and giving signals to them when they were just newborn and it was just the best thing we've just about ever done and still is it basically we started off on this tiny little top hat potty which you can watch on my video just right up here to see which potty we were using in the beginning that was just something that I purchased when I was still pregnant with them and it was honestly one of the best things I've ever bought and I don't ever want to get rid of that thing honestly and then from there we moved on to having them on the tiny potty which we still have lying around and they still use sometimes now we've gone up to basically a bigger size potty at 18 months old and we're also using the regular size toilet that you know you and I use it has just been so great I, I honestly think it's one of the best things I've ever done in my life and it's one of those things where you're just like why didn't I know about this before like why have we always been using diapers and why don't we know about this like why isn't this common knowledge it's definitely just been like a massive game changer and I can't recommend it enough where we're at now at 18 months is that they are using the potty um mostly to go poo for sure poo is happening on the toilet for one of the twins so elio basically always lets me know when she has to go poo she communicates it to me she says poo poo and i take her over to the toilet and she you know goes poo on the toilet and i let her finish on the toilet and she lets me know when she's done and when she's ready to get off which is great because i've noticed that or I used to notice that when we had diapers on Safia that she would just go like a little bit in her diaper at a time. So it was kind of like changing lots of small poopy diapers off more often. Whereas I find with this is it's like they sort of get it all out on the toilet all at once and then it's done for like, you know, till the next day or however long till they feel like they have to go again. But it's not like this like little bit that I have to constantly be cleaning up, which is awesome. Elio is also able to be totally diaperless at the house and she when she has to go pee she'll go over to the toilet and she'll go pee totally by herself without having to let one of us know like she can do it by herself sometimes I can tell that her mind kind of stops for a second and I can tell she's thinking about it. and then I say do you have to go pee pee and then she goes pee 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 and then she'll go over and she goes pee by herself on the toilet and that's just on a, like a little normal size potty that we have in our living room that she goes and uses and so that's been amazing and then in the last couple days we've just started putting on like a layer of clothing or you know what I mean like so they feel like there's something there because sometimes when you add that extra layer of clothing they feel like they're they're not wearing anything then they start to think it's a diaper and then they think that they can go in their diaper but what we successfully started to do is when we do put on like a layer of pants with no diaper or an underwear without a diaper she actually yesterday went over to the potty took down her pants no diaper on just the pants and went pee on the potty and it was like yes oh my god this is the best thing ever again she's 18 months old okay they know how to do this stuff yeah that's been absolutely amazing Rumi is not quite showing signs to be 100% ready in to that extent yet, but I'm keeping my eyes peeled and every day we're always giving her potternities to still go on the potty. And if she ever does have to go poo on the toilet, I read the signals right away if I can catch them and I go and put her on the potty and she'll go poo on normally the, the toilet. I prefer that they go on the toilet. It's way less mess and they seem to to like that as well. So I just hold them down on the big toilet. I we we have one of the the sort of smaller toilets um that can go on top of the toilet, but they don't they really don't seem to need it at this size that they're at now. So I just put them down on the toilet and they just go. With Rumi, we're going to continue to give her potter tunities, continue to have diaper free time and continue to teach her and show her to go pee on the potty. Sometimes she will go pee. If I do have her diaper list, she will go pee on the ground, but I always bring her over to the potty and I say, PB goes here, PB goes on the potty. That's very much like a part of our conversations that we have 
on a regular basis. You know, it's interesting when you have twins and you learn and, and realize that how every kid is so different and it's not one size fits all for, for everybody. And so it's been interesting to see how they're different in that. Um, just like with walking, you know, one of them started walking much sooner than the other one and then they both started doing it at the same time and then you, you just are like, oh wow, yeah, no, that everyone takes their own time to do things and it doesn't have to be, you know, at the same time basically is, is what I'm trying to say. It has been so incredible to, to see how it's evolved and changed into this. We are buying much fewer diapers now and I also find that Elio is able to keep her diaper dry when she is wearing one. So definitely we're gonna keep up with doing the diapers when we go out for, you know, outings and during nap and nighttime, we're still sticking with the diapers because that is a little bit too early, I think, to start getting into that. I think we'll just be running into like a much bigger headache for ourselves. So, but we're slowly continuing to potty train every single day since they've been born, basically. Since they were a week old, we're continuously potty training. And by the time they're two years old, they will be completely out of diapers during the day anyways. We might, we'll probably continue to still have them wearing them for naps and nighttime, but I'm at this rate, they will be for sure out of diapers. So I just wanna say that again. They will be potty trained by two years old. They won't be starting potty training at two years old. It's not like we've been teaching them to use the diapers to you know, go pee or poo in for two years, they're gonna be done at two years old. So this is like massive game changer. Um, again, why aren't we all like hearing about this and knowing about this because it is so awesome and it is possible. They they know how to do things. They know how to, to go to the bathroom somewhere. Like you think about before they had disposable diapers, or diapers period, where were kids going to the bathroom? I'm sure there was a designated spot where they would train them and teach them right from the get-go. Cannot recommend it enough. Like it is truly just mind-blowingly amazing. It definitely did get a little bit more challenging when we started doing solids with them. It wasn't as easy to predict, I wanna say. I feel like in the beginning when they were just having breast milk, it was so easy. We got into a rhythm and routine with it of having them, you know, go first thing in the morning. We always knew that they were going to go poo right away. So we just put them on the potties. They would go and oh my gosh, it was so satisfying. Of course, when they started having solids that came with a little bit more constipation, it's a little bit harder to go when it's not just liquids that you're, that they're consuming. And then, yeah, so I think that that definitely changed things big time, but I've always stayed consistent with it. I have never given up on it and I'm always making sure that they're giving, getting the potter-tunity to go on the toilet so that they know that that's where they're supposed to go. And like I said, it's always part of our dialogue and conversation. Pee pee goes on the potty, poo poo goes on the potty, even if they don't make it or they don't go or they doesn't, you know what I mean? And it's not like I'm like getting mad at them if they, if they go in their diaper. Like it's, it's not something they want to have like any shame around or anything like that. It's just like, this is where we go and, and you know, we'll, we're, working together here to, to make sure that you can go pee pee on the potty, poo poo on the potty, and they understand, they get it, you know? It doesn't have to be um, this big thing where they're, you know, scorned if they don't, if they don't do that or whatever. So I think just having positive feelings around it and, and open dialogue and conversations and consistency is definitely key. So yeah, if you are curious and interested about doing elimination communication for your kids, please do so. I, I don't know how else to, to, to say it. <laughs> At least try it. You don't have anything to lose. I will link below the potties that we use, the top hat potty and the, the small tiny potty um, so that you can get that for yourself as well. I can't wait to do another update on this because I hope that next time they'll be totally potty trained, but we'll see. I'm going to just be patient with it and consistent and keep on going with it. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope that you're doing well on your journey and please stay tuned for next week's video. Ciao for now.